Hello everyone, my name is Quad and today we will delve into the enigmatic realm of Incarnon weapons, enhancements that bring new life to your arsenal. You have probably seen people talking about them a lot recently and it is because they can be quite game-changing. They are an upgrade, providing alternate fire modes and stat enhancements to your existing arsenal. What they do is bring an exciting twist to your preferred weapons, giving you the upper hand on the battlefield, with some of them turning batshit insane. To obtain the necessary components to create an Incarnon weapon, you must play the Steel Path difficulty circuit. By completing the circuit, you are rewarded with 2 out of 5 preset Incarnon weapon adapters each week. If you want to see which weapons come each week, there will be a link in the description down below that you can read. There is just too many to go over here, but Wiki is your best friend. The rotation switches each week on Monday. When it does, you will be able to choose 2 out of 5 Incarnon adapters. Again, they are different and more are going to be added in the future, so Wiki is your best friend for preparation. When you get the Incarnon adapter from Steel Path Circuit, you can now install it on your weapon of choice. To do this, you must seek out Cavalero, a knowledgeable, angry being residing in the Zeriman. It is through Cavalero's expertise that your regular weapons will transcend into the Incarnon forms. But the path to Incarnon power demands a sacrifice. In exchange for the Incarnon adapter installation, you must offer 20 Pathos Clams and some rare Doviri resources. These valuable resources represent your dedication and commitment to unlocking the true weapon potential. We do not know what Cavalero does with all the Pathos Clams and stuff, but I am very eager to know. To be honest, I think he is constructing an Aura Worm. No joke. Once the Incarnon adapter is installed, your weapon's new abilities will slowly awaken. And by slowly, I mean you need to complete a couple of challenges with the weapon you chose. The challenges are quite easy and quite quick to complete. You may unlock the alternate fire modes with the first challenge and by completing additional challenges, you will unlock the weapon's full potential step by step. Most buffs that you will unlock apply not only to the Incarnon version of the weapon, but on the normal one as well. And you may also change the buffs at will, you just need to visit Cavalero. If you are confused, the buffs are usually called evolutions and people usually modify the second, third and the fourth one, so that is evolution in Warframe for you. Alternate fire mode of the weapon allows you to unleash devastating attacks, while stat buffs enhance the weapon's performance, turning it into a force to be reckoned with, most weapons require you to hit a couple of headshots before you can turn them into Incarnon version, but it really is not that hard to do, usually. My favorite Incarnon weapons at the moment are Incarnon Lato and Dao and Incarnon Strun, both mediocre weapons at best, but with the Incarnon adapters on them, whew, they are quite something. I know that people also like Torrid quite a lot, and for some reason they avoid melee weapons because they are not that good, uh, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Let me know in the comments down below which Incarnon weapons are your favorite, I really want to know. With this, I thank you for watching, please like, comment, share, or maybe unsubscribe, and also have a very nice day. Bye guys!